What's up guys, Ivan here. In this video I'm going to show you some uh, hidden tricks. They are not really hidden, they are all uh, in uh, the car manual in the book, but many people don't read this book today, so that's why I'm here to show you these features, and which I personally find uh, useful. My first A-class was from August 2019 to August this year, and now you have uh, now this car for uh, two months. So this A-Class A220 Petrol I have for two months, uh, as of today. They are light up, so because I have the premium package now in my second car, you can see this is light up. Guys, before we start, give this video a like, comment down below after you watch the video, which was your favorite feature, and tell me if you drive also A-Class, uh, which is another favorite feature of yours, and also subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon so you are notified for all new videos. So let's get started. Take a look at this interior, it's uh, something, uh, yeah, something special and the best in the compact class uh, for sure. So the first feature is how to deactivate the keyless system and that's very useful in my opinion and I do it always when I'm in the public place because some people actually can steal your car when they have the keyless system. However, these new Mercedes key fobs after two minutes when they are not active, for example you hang the keys at home or you put them on the table, uh, when the motion in the key detects that you are not that the key is not uh, moving, that the key after two minutes of uh, any movement is uh, turned off automatically. So uh, they can't, in this way, stall your car with these like signals. They they uh, are near your door and scanning like yeah, these thieves, uh, new modern thieves. So they can't do that, but if you double click, you know, then also it's immediately disabled. So right now I want to show you how you can uh, do that actually. It's very easy. So when it's normal situation and you want to lock the car, you have these in your pocket, okay? And uh, you just press here with your thumb and the car is locked. If you want to open the car, then you just place your hand here in the hole and it's opened. But if you want to disable it, then you don't touch the handle at all. Just double click here and now it's disabled. So now when I want to open it just normally, it's not possible to open and it's not activating anything. If you want to open the car, then just press the unlock button again and it's working again. And Kilas is also active when you unlock the car. It hidden feature is actually when you start the car and you can see the multi beams, the light game. When they are waiting, let's say here is a traffic light. When you are waiting, they have uh, their leg on the brake. So in this way, they are like a brake in the car. And when the green light is on, they just release the brake and the car starts uh, move, starts moving. But there is a very useful feature uh, from Mercedes. So when you actually press uh, quickly, more firmly the brake, and then you release uh, your foot from the brake, you will uh, see here the hold name. So let's do that. Okay, so right now we have a hold. And that means that the car is uh, braked itself and your feet doesn't need to be on the brake pedal. And in this way you can wait on the green light and then just press the accelerator and the hold will disappear and then you can continue with your drive and you can do that as many times as you want basically so uh, yeah that's really really useful and right now i want to show you how it looks with the flash and this is how you let's say perform this uh, hold uh, feature so just press quickly and release like that okay and you are moving again, you can stop and press and release. You don't need to slam fully the brake, 
just a little bit so the car can sense it. So guys, this is perfect opportunity for this. So I am at the exit of the parking garage, underground garage. And now the hold feature is active. And this is active up to the 30% of the incline. So that's pretty much uh, every, every situation which you will uh, encounter. So my other favorite feature is that you can showcase here the tire temperature and tire pressure in each tire separately. And how you uh, select this feature. So here you can press the home button on the left side of the steering wheel. And with the scrolling like a mechanism, you need to go into the service. And here in service you have tires. So here actually you can see all four tires and each tire with the temperature and also with the tire pressure. So I saw an Italian guy during summer, he posted on the Facebook that one of his tire was actually like an amber or, or yellow color and it had 70 degrees Celsius temperature which is uh, really a lot. So uh, I think uh, you know then that you should like uh, calm down or something like that because it can be dangerous and I think uh, if it's really dangerous it, then it's uh, in like a red light each tire uh, which one is at a higher temperature. Also if you get uh, some uh, maybe air is leaking from a tire or you have a defect on the tire puncture so uh, you can see immediately you can see which tire it is so that's why I usually uh, leave it like that when I drive. So that's one of my favorite features as well in this car and not many people know actually that this car supports uh, this feature. So next feature which is my favorite is here in uh, info. So you can scroll here on the touch area, touch pad and here we go into the info and here you can see the consumption. This is uh, normal. Also the engine and you can see the vehicle but here for this tip I want to show you uh, the engine and in engine you can actually see the temperature of the oil so this is uh, the temperature of the oil and here you can see the temperature of the oil in the gearbox so uh, above the blue bar that's actually the minimum what you should do when you start like uh, pushing the engine more and this is red zone so you, so you shouldn't uh, go in this zone and here we have the same. So blue is uh, around yeah, this area and here you have the red. So this is in degrees in Celsius and uh, I think in America you have uh, in Fahrenheit and in other countries which use uh, Fahrenheit. So yeah, that's a very useful feature and you have also engine output and engine torque, battery voltage and charge air pressure. We have also here the coolant, so this also should be in the middle or yeah, a little bit above middle but around 90 degrees Celsius. So if you have all these three things like warm up then you can start to push the engine more uh, with the accelerator. Okay. So you can use the launch control on, this is called, not really launch control, but it's called the assistive start on the A220 and A250, which are not AMG uh, models, you can do like a launch control. So the first step is turn off ESP and to turn off the ESP you need to go into the settings, which is the last menu in the MBUX. Then here you have ESP, so if you press it, then you can turn it off. And you will need to have the steering wheel in a straight position, so not like this, but in a straight position. Then you need to select the sportiest mode which you have uh, on your car. So on the non-AMG models, and that's uh, in dynamic select, that's uh, the sport mode. So you select this, and also it goes uh, yeah, back, the ESP goes back, so it, you need to turn it off. You need to be in sport mode, uh, which you can see actually here, and you need to have the ESP off. Then you need to have a left foot firmly on the brake, so you don't uh, do that usually because you brake with your right foot, but uh, here with the launch control you need to have a left foot firmly on the brake. Then you select drive, so right now in the parking position, but you select drive. And then you need to press the, or push 
the throttle pedal quickly and fully. So the past pressure point, so fully, yeah, you need to press uh, fully the throttle pedal with your uh, right foot. Left you have on the brake and right on the throttle. And then you need to release your left foot from the brake while holding right foot on the throttle pedal. So basically you are accelerating really fast. And after this quick acceleration, you need to turn on the ESP for safety reasons because otherwise ESP is not active during when you would be like sliding or you have a tire spinning. I didn't try it yet, but I know it's possible and I didn't know that because usually launch control or let's say assistive uh, start is uh, only for the AMG models, but in A220 and A250 you have it as well. You need to keep in mind that the clutch is not uh, warranted by Mercedes, so a clutch has uh, wear and tear when you do a launch control. So just keep that uh, in mind. If you do that a couple of times, I don't think it will be like a big problem, but if you do that uh, a lot of the times, then it could be the problem. Then you maybe need to pay yourself for the new clutch, so maybe not, I don't have the experience with, with that, but yeah, I just wanted to mention it so you know it. And you should only do that when the engine and the gearbox is warmed up, like I showed you before. So this should be warmed up and also the engine oil pressure and also here. So my last useful feature is when you actually reverse, so uh, if you put the transmission in reverse, the backup camera will pop up. But not many people know that when you press uh, the reverse and the camera opens, that you have also here another options. So this is basic. Another cars uh, have uh, like a 360 cameras. You can also do a hold feature, which I showed you uh, during reverse. So that's also a possibility. So what many people don't know is when you actually press here, you can uh, operate it with the touch or you can uh, press here. So you have a wide angle. You can see it here, rear wide angle. So you can actually see oncoming traffic if a car are parked next to you on each side and you can't see, then you can see it uh, because of this uh, wide angle. You can actually also uh, do the feature that you open the backup camera here with this button. This is also park tronic uh, when the car park itself. So if you press it, then the car will detect spaces for the backup. But also here you have features, these cameras, these buttons. So if you go down here with this touchpad, for example, or with the steering wheel, doesn't matter, or you can press with your finger the screen, then the camera will open while you are in the drive. So you can uh, check out who is behind you. And yeah, that's like a cool feature. So you don't need to put it in reverse uh, when you want to open the rear camera. For some reason, doesn't matter which reason, but these cameras are really high definition, so maybe when you are driving with your friend, you can open the camera and uh, yeah, see your friend or something like that. So it's really a cool feature in my opinion. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below, how do you like this video, these features, and which is your favorite. So guys, that's it. And have a great evening, morning, afternoon, or night depending when in the world are you from and you can let me know in the comment section down below where do you come from i'm very curious and i'll see you soon in the next video have a great day